Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on how to bypass the meta update that stopped you from being able to access your OBB uh, folders. This is a voice uh, voiceover, so not everything is going to match up completely with the video, but I'll do my best. And I also know words help better than just reading something for most people. So to start, you'll need three apps. You will need Lightning Launcher, which you can just download from SideQuest. You will need NP Manager and Shizuku, which I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Um, NP Manager and Shizuku are both APKs that you can just download. Make sure you have the latest versions. I use CX File Explorer to download them, but you can also use NP Manager to download APKs as well. Now you want to open up Shizuku first and make sure you put it all into the off tab that is very important. And now open up Lightning Launcher and make sure you're on apps. Find Android settings and open it up. Then you want to scroll all the way down and find the about headset and the build number. You will click this five times. And as you can see, um, it will enable developer mode or it'll tell you you already have it enabled if you already have it enabled. Then you want to find system and then click on it, then you will see developer options, and you want to click on that. And you scroll down, and you will find wireless debugging. You will click the little notch to turn it on, and then you want to click allow when this pop up pops up, and then it will bring you back to the options, and now you want to click wireless debugging again, but not the notch to turn it off, just the tab, just click on it, and then you will see pair device with code. So you want to click on it to get your code, and now go to Shizuku, and click on pairing. And then now you want to type your code into Shizuku. So type in your code. Hit OK. And after that, you can hit Start. And then it will do its thing. And then once you see Shizuku is running, you can now exit out of that and go back into lightning launcher once again and now you want to go to your NP manager and then on the left side you want to go to the OB you want to find your OBB folder by going to download and on the right side you want to go to uh, Android and then hit OBB um, if this pops up just hit confirm I find that it works so just go hit quest 2 on the little tabs as you've seen Sometimes it'll pop up on Shizuku, where it'll ask you, you just hit allow. But uh, I find it's best to just go to Quest 2, then hit Android, and then just hit that back button right there, twice. And it should kick you out. It does kick me out, it takes me a little bit. And then my OBB's uh, files pop up after that. I hope that's not too confusing. Um, you, can re you can rewind and rewatch if you need to. So then just find your, go to download, find your OBB, and then go Android, hit OBB, and then as you can see my OBB files popped up now. I'm doing breachers, so I find Triangle Factory. As you can see I have the OBB there. So I click on it, and then now I can hold down on the OBB file, hit move, and it is 3 gigabyte. OBB, so it does take a while, but it does switch, and it does work, so I hope that this helped you in any way, and just rewind the video as much as you need to make sure you get it right. Uh, if you follow everything I did in this video, you should have zero problems with transferring OBBs, doing the OBB trick, where you already have a game downloaded and you just switch out the obbs anything obb related this is a bypass 100 percent as you just seen is a complete fix so just rewind the video wherever you need need to and as you can see just now it switched so i hope this helped um and have fun